Brenda. No, de app. Sound there. Como sonido. Yes. Yeah. I am practice grammar with app uh, elementary English. It's good. Eh, pone ejemplos y eh, practicas así como test y todo eso está bien bonita y de hecho pues explica también mucho el, el tema verdad oh really yeah oh, eh, I, I tried to, to learn with, with your app yeah, esa elementary ok elementary English es más que toda gramática Ya ok. Que, al que le pueda servir, pues eh, es muy buena. La podría descargar. Thank you for your uh, advice. Hello. Hello. Fíjense que Hello ya, there. Ya, ya por poco me salía de la clase porque dije, me entré en la clase de otra, de otra maestra, dije yo. Y entonces dije, no, no, pues no, me tengo que salir. Good evening. How are you? I feel so good. Oh, good, good. Okay, excellent. Um, una, tengo una, una, una duda, una preguntita que hacer. Eh, ¿Me pueden decir si por casualidad ustedes pueden escuchar um, algún sonido? Eh, de mi parte, de, de lado mío, alguna interferencia? No, 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 no todavía nada. no, todavía no. Ya, ya les digo cuándo. Pero todavía no, ya, ya les diré. Mientras tanto, um, mientras que <ríe> empieza. Uh, ok, ¿cómo vamos ahí con la, la plataforma? ¿Cómo está todo? Ahorita pueden escuchar algún alguna interferencia. Escuchan no, nada. No. Ok, perfecto, perfecto, excelente. Ok, um, ok, so how eh, how's the platform going? Everything okay in the platform? Yeah. Yeah, everything is okay or or, or not really? Everything okay. A uh, mí es, yo fíjese de que yo he, me he quedado por la parte 4 porque no he podido avanzar nada. Pero posiblemente lo avance ya sea el sábado o el domingo. No sé si eso va a interferir en las notas o en algo, porque veo el mensaje de que dice de que si llegamos a la sección 5 a mediados o que terminamos la plataforma en esta semana. ¿Me puede afectar eso o no? O sea, yo voy por la sección 4, es lo que digo. Pero no sé si eso puede llegar a afectarme. Ah, ok. ¿Qué entendió, qué, qué entendió ¿Mm? usted? Um, ¿Qué, qué entendió por, por el mensaje? Uh, que tenía que llegar hasta la sección 5 a mediados. ¿O no? Es que vi el WhatsApp. Ok, bueno. Son cinco secciones. Sí. Section 1, Section 2, Section 3, Section 4, Section 5. And there's a midterm and uh -huh. a final exam. Sí. Yeah. So the whole platform, the complete platform includes um yeah the, the the five sections plus midterm and and the final exam now we are at half of the of the um of the of the module okay because this is day day number nine so no 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 creo que me es quiero ver hoy es el día ¿qué es Ya les, ya les digo qué, qué día es. O quizás no me acuerdo muy bien. Bueno, bueno la cosa es de que, ok, quiero ver. 
Empezamos. Okay. So we started on the 25th, right? So it's, yeah, we started 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th. That's four days. And then we had a class on the 31st. So that's five. And then we had class again on Monday, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so this is the tenth class. Okay, we already had nine classes, so it's a little bit more than half the the, the module. That means that you should already be, uh, by unit unit three, and the midterm. Does that make sense? Sí, está bien. Okay, so you should have a unit three finished. Sorry, sorry, unit three finished and the midterm. You should be working on unit four, but not finished. Okay, you don't okay. need to be finished okay, unit then. four. You you just have to be starting unit four. Okay, no se sé si ¿Se tiene okay. sentido? Sí. Y otra cosa, Miss, fíjese que esta clase, sí voy a estar poniendo atención, pero voy a estar de oyente, Miss, en esta clase. Eh, en, en, ¿En toda la clase? Mm, en parte de ella. Ok. Ok. All right. That's fine. Thank you. Ok. Ok. All right, guys. Um... Okay, just a second. Just give me one moment. I'm looking at um, the picture that Eugenio sent. Mm. I have a problem with this section, Miss. Mm -hmm. Is 3.4. In this exam, yes. uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't understand. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we're gonna say that today so that you, you're able to understand a little bit better, okay? All right, so don't, don't, don't worry so much about it because we'll, we'll do it together. Sounds good? Yes. Okay, good. All right, just give me a second, guys. Okay, so I'm going to be taking uh, right now the attendance. Okay, so we'll start with um, Ada Veronica Muñoz. Present, Miss. Very good. Alexandra Jamile Garcia. Alexandra Jamile Garcia. Um, Alicia Perez Gavivia. Alicia Perez Gavivia. Ana Maricela Flores. Ana Maricela Flores. Brenda Claribel Mejia. I'm here. All right, very good. Um, Cecilio Antonio Cortez. Present, Miss. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Um, Ernesto, sorry, Eugenio Ernesto Martinez. Present, Miss. Yeah, thank you. Um, Jacqueline Vanessa Quijada. Present, Miss. Okay, very good. Jennifer mm, Nauset Arevalo. Present, Miss. Okay, wonderful. Juan Antonio Brand. Juan Antonio Brand. ¿Dónde está Juan Antonio? Okay. Uh, Catherine Andreina Perez. 
Catherine Andreina Perez. Present, Miss. Wonderful. Catherine Giselle Bonilla. Present. Okay, wonderful. Catherine Marielos Melendez. Present, Miss. Present. Wonderful, thank you. Lenin Hernandez Flores. Present, Miss. Excellent. Luis Alfredo Aguilar. Present, Miss. Excellent, thank you. Present. Oh, yeah, gotcha. Miguel Antonio Rodriguez. Present, Miss. Thank you. Nelson Eduardo Alfaro. Present, Miss. Excellent. Noah Ezequiel Rivera. Present, Miss. All right, excellent. Um, Norma Lizette Crispin. Norma Lizette Crispin. Olivia Raquel Rodriguez. Present. Okay, wonderful. Oscar Alexander Dominguez. Oscar Alexander Dominguez. Reina Isabel Martínez. Reina Isabel Martínez. Sara Idalia Oviedo. Sara Idalia Oviedo. And Silvia Esther Rivera. I'm here, Miss. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. All right, guys and girls. Um, so, eh, no sé si queda claro el tema de, de, de la, ¿cómo se llama? De la plataforma. Sí, lo, lo dejaron claro. Ya, yeah? ok, perfect. Ok, very good, very good, everybody. Um, in that case... Just give me a moment. Okay. Um, we're going to start with this conversation that we have here. Please tell me if um, you are able to see my screen. Can you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Great. So this conversation is ordering a meal. And um, so here we go. We'll start with the waiter. May I take your order? May I take your order? Everybody, may I take your order? May I take your order? order? Yes, I like the lamb kebab, please. Yes, oh, sorry. I like the lamb kebab. I like the lamb kebab. All right. All right. All right. All right. And would you like a salad? I would like, like a salad. salad. Yes, I'll have a mixed green salad. Yes, yes, yes I, I have a mixed green salad. Green salad. Okay, what kind of dressing would you like? Okay, okay. what kind of dressing would you like? We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Blue cheese, please. Blue cheese, please. Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? And would you, and would you like anything to drink? To drink? Yes, I'd like a large iced tea, please. Yes, yes. I'd yes, like a large iced, iced tea, tea, please. Tea, please. Good, very good, very good. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to practice this conversation with a partner. Um, I'm going to put you in pairs and you're going to practice. One time you will be the waiter. The other time you will be the customer. Okay, let me first um, send this to you in the WhatsApp. Please tell me if 
you're able to see it. Bueno, mientras que, sí, yo creo que ya le llegó, ¿verdad? Algo bien de mi. Okay. All right, guys. Um, so, we're going to put you into breakout rooms. Um, okay, so here we go, guys. I'm going to open up the rooms so that you are able to practice. Okay, so here we go. Let's open the rooms. I am Walter. Hola, hola. ¿Con quién empezamos? Okay. I am Walter. May I take Jordan? Hola, hola. Me escuchan. This is a conversation. La misma da un mensaje de la captura de la conversación entonces vamos a practicar la conversación ah ok ok ahorita me voy a sacar aquí hasta el wifi porque tengo un problema de conectividad vaya me escuchan bien yeah. ah vaya Entonces tú serías Walter y yo sería uh, customer. Vaya. Entonces, si crees, empieza tú primero. Yes, I like the lamb kebabs. All right. Could you like a sandwich? Yes, I have a mixed green salad. Okay. What I of the would you like? You have blue cheese. Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I like a large iced tea, please. Okay. It's the and Catherine. Catherine. Hola, hola. Catherine, me escucha, me ve, no, yo creo que Catherine no, no, no le funciona como que, eh, el rostro, no sé, o, si estamos practicando, entonces yo te dejo el costo. Creo que no le funciona.
Intentemos otra vez. Yo seré okay. Walter. Me ah. con un grupo. Oh, okay. No problem. Can you listen only? Okay, uh, yeah, maybe. But me, uh, me gustaría probar por lo menos una vez a ver si, cómo nos okay, va. Okay, okay. Okay. Can I start? Okay. Okay. Um, may I take your order? Yes, I like the lamb kebabs. Okay. All right. I'm gonna like. Um, would you like a salad? Yes, I I will have a mixed green salad. Okay. What kind of dressing would you like? We have blue cheese and uh, vinaigrette. Blue cheese, please. Okay. All right, class. Um, any questions about the pronunciation? Anything you want to ask about? Can let me see vinaigrette. Vinaigrette. Mm -hmm. Vinaigrette. 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 Yes, vinaigrette. Mm -hmm. Okay. I got it. All right, very good. Okay. Blue cheese is queso azul, okay. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, okay. mm -hmm. exactly. Cheese, kebab, right. kebab? Kebab. Uh, a kebab is, um, it's what, what in, what normally in El Salvador they call uh like pinchos. That would be a kebab. Brochetas. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Anything else? Can you ask me in English, Miguel? Hi, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I my pronunciation, the mix, mixer. What's the pronunciation of, yeah. So we say mixed. Mix. Mixed. 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 Yeah, okay. exactly. Thank you, Miss. You're welcome. I, I, I'm me. Um, it's complicated in the contraction. I, I would. I Oh, you, you're you asking about the pronunciation of the I would contract. I would. Yeah. So okay. you say, so you say, I would. Yeah. So I would like. Uh, I would like. Mm -hmm. In the, in the other, in customers, yes, I, I will or, or I will. In contraction, I a comma ll oh okay yeah so you can say i would like for example okay or you say i i'd like okay but in the second contraction that we have in oración is i double l i think it's the i will right let me just check
customers say, yes, oh, I, I'll, I have. Have. I'll have. I'll have. <gasps> oh, okay. I'll have. Okay. I'll have. Yes, I'll have. Okay, thanks, okay. teacher. All right, you're welcome. Anything else? No? Okay, all right, perfect. Okay, so um, you will notice that in this conversation, um, you're talking about um, in at a, at a restaurant, right? Um, ordering at a restaurant. So, um, give me a moment. Oops, I went back to you. Just give me a uh, just give me one second. Yeah. All right. So, in fact, that's what we're going to be talking a little bit about. Um, about using model verbs with would and will. Okay, so please tell me if you can see my screen. No. No? No. 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 Okay. No, yet. Not yet? No. No means. No, yes. No, yes. It's okay. loading. Okay, perfect. I'm ready, teacher. Yeah. Now you can see it? Yes. Okay. Good. Yes. yes. All right. So um so you can ask, what would you like? What would you like? Can you repeat what, after me? What, what would, would you, you like? like? What would you like? What would you like? What would you like? So this is a very polite way of asking um a for somebody's order at a restaurant. Um to ask them. A, what they what they will request for the food okay what would you like what would you like yeah, yeah. yeah exactly next one it says what kind of dressing would you like everybody what kind of dressing would you like what kind of dressing would you like, would you like? excellent good so dressing, what is dressing, by the way? What do you understand by dressing? It's how Yeah, it's like a dressing is like a, a type of sauce um, for a, 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 a salad. That's a dressing. Okay, a, a dressing like it. So in this case, for example, um, it could be a vinaigrette, right? Vinaigrette like me. In like, To give you an example, a very com common dressings in El Salvador is mixing mayonnaise and ketchup. Yeah, that's a very common dressing, right? So they call it the pink uh, a pink uh, dressing, but really it's a combination of mayonnaise and ketchup. Uh, okay. so, toppings? Yeah, you can have some toppings. Yeah, exactly. So toppings like croutons or things like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so again, you're asking, would you like? Okay. Next, what would you like to drink? Can you what repeat? What would you like to drink? What would you like to drink? What would you like to drink? Good. What would you like to drink? And the other question is, would you like anything else? Would you like anything else? Would you like anything else? Mm -hmm. Very good. Would you like anything else? Would you like anything else? Yeah. Would you like okay. anything else? Exactly. Very good. So, notice you're always asking... Um, would you would you like? So we're always asking, would you like? Would like? Would you like? Would you like? Would, would like? So, 
and would like. So this would like is asking, a, it's, it's a very formal and polite way to ask uh, what the person wants to order. Okay, and in the middle, you're gonna put the subject. In this case, it's you, but it doesn't have to be you. It could be like, what would she like? Um, for example, maybe you're asking a parent for uh, what the what their son, their four year old son would like. What would he like? Or um, you know, they're asking what their their you know three year old daughter will like. What would she like? But usually you say you because you normally are asking directly to the people. Um, or, yeah, so it could be you like singular or you plural. Okay. Now, how do you answer to would you like? You answer by saying, I'd like. Let me. I'd like. Yeah. So you can say, I'd, I'd like. like. I'd like. I'd like. I'd okay, like. so notice, for example, I'd like. Yeah, so you could say, I'd like the, the lamb kebab, or I'd like the blue I'd cheese. I'd like the lamb kebab. <laughs> I'd like. I'd like the blue cheese, please. I'd like blue cheese. I'd like blue cheese, please. Good. I'd like a nice tea. I'd like a nice tea. Yes. Okay, good. Um, or another way you can answer is by saying, I'll have. I'll have a small salad. Repeat, I'll have a small salad. I'll have a vinaigrette. I'll have vinaigrette. Okay. I'll have coffee. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Um. Very good. Now, um, you can, if you they say, would you like anything else? You can say yes, right? You, it's possible to, to answer with a yes, yes, please. Or you can say no, no, thank you. But you gotta be, you can't just say no because that's that's very rude. So if they ask you, for example, even in Spanish, ¿le gustaría otra cosa más? You wouldn't just say no. You say no, no gracias, right? So the same thing, no, thank you, okay? And, but you st would still answer the same way. You would answer with, I'd like, okay? Or you could say, that'll be all. That'll be all. Can you repeat after me? That'll be all. 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 Yeah, which literally means, se eso sería todo. That will be is is yeah, contraction. Exactly, it's a contraction okay. of that would be, that will be. That will be, be all. all. Yeah, okay. that will be all. Okay. All right. Any questions about this? It's clear. It's clear. Okay. Let me just take a, a screenshot. Sorry, yeah. En, en la segunda, que es what can or dressing would you like? ¿Qué quiere decir? Es que yo lo traduje, pero me parece qué tipo de aliño le gustaría. Esa palabra no sé qué es. Pero no sé si el traductor no, no. I don't know what is aliño, but um, but dressing, we're talking about a, the type of sauce that you put on a salad. For example, you can put um like, like I was, I was mentioning that they make a dressing with mayonnaise and ketchup. Yeah. Or, so. Or um, ranch. Ranch. Or ranch. ranch. Is, yeah, ranch is a very is a famous. Dressing. Yeah, ranch is a very famous dressing. Um, 
No sé qué otro dressing sería famoso. Mm. Oh, well, and also very, very, like a vinegar dressing. It's like um, vinegar or a lemon and olive oil and salt. Yeah. So do you understand dressing? No. <laughs> okay. what, what, what do you put okay. oh, for example, so Jennifer, in, English, in English in English in English in English remember for the, example let's... when I when I do put fried 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 potatoes yes and ketchup ah so okay so what do you put on your salad Jennifer how do you eat your salad hmm. Es como mm -hmm. un complemento. No. no. Okay, so, so let's say you have a salad. Lettuce, tomatoes, uh, cucumbers. Do you eat it like this or do you put something on top? Like a, a, a sauce. Es, viene siendo como un aderezo. No. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Any other questions that you have? Okay, so what I need you to do then is using this information, you're going, to, let's complete um, the exercise, uh, which is the, the a conversation between a waiter and a customer. And you're going to use um, the structures that we just learned right now. Um, so, Do you see it? Yes, I got it. All right, perfect. So um, I'm going to send you this in the WhatsApp group. Hold on, give me a moment. Okay. All right, we're going to stop sharing. I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to send it to you in the WhatsApp group and so that you can you can do it. But I'm I'm going to keep it keep it open because I will let you work on it while I am presenting. Okay? So you can you can work on it individually. Okay, and you're just going to be completing with, um, yeah, with with the appropriate word. So I'll give you a few a few moments.
All right. Oh, how are you doing? Are we almost finished? Yes. Can we check? Yes, miss. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yes. Perfect. All right. Let's check everybody. So what would you like? What would you like? Good. What would you like to order? What would you like to order? I have the fried chicken. I have. I'll. I'll have. I'll, I'll, have, have, I'll have. have. Okay. I'll How do you have. know that it's I'll have and not I would? Like I because, will have. Yeah, because have. after after I would, we always we use the like. We always say would like, but mm -hmm. after will we can use any other verb okay, okay. next would you like would you like excellent would you like rice or potatoes would you like rice or potatoes potatoes please what kind of potatoes would you like 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 excellent good like well but the kind of potatoes would you like? Mashed, baked, or French fries? I? I, I would like right. mashed potatoes. I would, I would like. like. Good. This one we know it's wood because after wood we have like, right? I would like mashed potatoes. Okay, and? Would you like? Would. Good. Like. Would you like? Yes. Anything. Would you like anything to drink? Would you like anything to drink? I, I guess, guess I I will have. have. Good. I will have or contracted. I'll have. I hope. Yeah, have. I'll have. So after uh, would we use like? After will we use have? Okay. So okay. I'll have a cup of coffee. Would you? I don't have like, a cup of coffee. You like anything else? Would you, would like, you like, like anything else? Like, you know that? That'll be That'll be all for now. Thanks. Later. Would you like? like would you like dessert? Yes, I, I, I will like, yeah. I would like, I would like or we can also use a contraction, I'd like, I'd like ice cream, I'd like ice cream. What flavor would you like? Would you like? What flavor would you like? Hmm. I, I will have I will have or I'll have I'll have yeah it's a con yeah, so I would have so I will have or I'll have chocolate please okay any questions no more no no you sure no questions at all? Um, anything else? Alguna otra cosa sería. Uh, Alguna otra cosa? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Alguna otra cosa? No, eso es todo, todo eso por ahora. Gracias. Okay.
All right, very good. Okay. Can you repeat the pronunciation about I and I'll? So, correct? I'll, 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 yeah. I'll. And the other one is I will. I'll. I'll is I will. I'll. Yeah, I will in contraction. Um, yeah. Um, so the contraction of, of, of I will have, it's I'll have. I'll have. Yeah. I'll have. I'll have. I'll have. And the other one is I'd have. So I'll. I would. So I'd. I'd like. Sorry. I'd like. I'd, I'd like. Yeah. And the other is I'll Okay, hold on, wait. Okay, I'll, I'll write in the chat so you don't get confused. Okay, so I would like, so I would like is more formal. If you want to make it more informal, you'd say I'd like. I'd like. Yes, I'd like. I'd, I'd and, like. Yeah, and the other one is I will have, which is a little more formal, I will have. And the contraction of I will have is I'll have. 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 Okay. Sounds good? Right. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Perfect. All right. So. Okay, so now, do you remember this conversation from yesterday between Jeff and Bob? Terrific, yes. Yeah, yes. terrific. Yeah, do you remember this, this conversation? Yeah? Okay, so they were talking about Indian food. What is what is um, Indian food? Comida Indian. Comida. De la India. De la India, right? Or also known as eh, comida hindú. So they were talking about going to get Indian food. Now, because, I don't know, have you ever had Indian food? ¿Alguien, ¿alguien acá ha comido comida hindú? Uh, no. 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 Okay. Curry, so, curry. Yeah, exactly. If you've ever had curry, you you will know that most well most of the the food in, in um like most of the uh, when, yeah like a lot of the Indian food has curry in it. So si alguna vez han comido esa especie de curry that has a lot it, it, like most of the food that is Indian has a lot of curry. So the food is very Spicy. Spicy. What is spicy? Picante. Yes. Mm? Is the same. Uh, it has... Condimentos. Condimentos. Uh -huh. So when you say spicy, it means condimentado o condimentada. Comida condimentada. So many times when the food is spicy, it will be hot. Like hot, right? Like like Mexican food, for example, is you usually very hot. Okay, so and salt, right? Mm? Very salt, uh, salada. Oh, salty. Yeah, that's what we're gonna be learning right now. Okay, so ahorita eso vamos precisamente ahorita. So we're going to learn um about. Uh, just a second. Let me... Here, there it is. Okay, so we have here different kinds of, um, of flavors for food, okay? Different flavors of food. The first one, is, or not flavors, but different ways that we can, we can, um, we can describe food. So the first one is healthy. Can you repeat? Healthy. 
healthy. Healthy. Healthy. healthy. healthy. healthy. Yeah. So healthy. if you eat, so for example, if you eat salads and, or and fruity, right? That will be healthy. Okay. What is healthy? Healthy. healthy. What is healthy? Saludable. Saludable. Good. Greasy is not healthy. And um, that um, greasy is like when you put a lot of oil or fats. Like, for example, in El Salvador, a lot of the food is greasy. So if you are eating, like most of them are deep fried. So um, like pupusas and, and riguas and yeah, everything is, is greasy. La, la comida salvadoreña is very greasy. Okay? Everything. But the bad food is very delicious. I know, I know. I know, but it, yeah, it's not healthy. Okay, yeah. the other one is salty. Salty. So it means it has a lot of salt. Yeah. Okay? A lot of salt. For example, queso duro. Queso duro is salty. Oh, uh, no. Uh -huh. Muy salado. Duro, duro viejo. Uh -huh. Right? Yeah. Duro viejo is very salty. Very duro blando. Sí, yo, también. <laughs> it's, it's very salty. Then we have rich food. Rich food is uh, food that is like very heavy. Yeah, like it feels like very, very heavy. That would be rich food. So if you eat, for example, carne asada, that would be very rich food, you know. Okay. Spicy. We talked about spicy, especially if it's really like hot, right? Um, so like Mexican food is very spicy. Delicious, right? Delicious. Delicious, mm, delicious food, right? So uh, well, so like uh, Juan Brand uh, was saying. Um, you know, the bad food is delicious, <laughs> right? So you want to eat like pizza and hamburgers, and that's delicious, yeah. Bland. Okay, tengan cuidado con esta palabra, bland. Bland no significa blando, not in English, okay? This is un, un false cognate. Um, no significa blando. ¿Saben qué significa bland? Bland is, is the opposite of delicious. Delicious is good. Mm, good taste. Bland is like no taste. Okay. Not delicious. No. It's like white rice. Okay. Simple. Uh, no, yeah, very simple. No, 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 no spices, no nothing. That's bland. For example, agri dulce. No, 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 no. Bland is is um. Esta. El sabor. Ajá, el sabor es um. Simple. 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 Ah, Ajá, simple. Exacto. Simple. Yeah. Simple. So no, 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 no taste. Okay. So se si come. Uh, yeah, yeah, hospital <laughs> food, exactly. Hospital food would be bland, exactly. Okay, all right. Now, in this conversation, you also learned to agree and disagree. Okay, so when you agree, for example, it says, I like Japanese food a lot. Okay, I like Japanese food a lot. This over here, I like. So yeah, it's, yeah, okay. So I like is in the simple present. So when you say, um, when you agree with something, you say, so do I. So do I. And it means so the same thing I. as I do too. So do I, I do and I do too is the same thing, okay? Okay, so, so do I, is like saying in Spanish, también yo, o yo también. Okay, so repeat after me. I I like Japanese food a lot. I like Japanese food a lot. So do I. So do I. 
So do I. I do too. I do too. Mm -hmm. Good. Now, uh, if you don't agree, sorry, 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 my mistake. If it's negative, and you say, for example, I don't like greasy food, it's negative, then you're going to agree and you're going to use the word neither or neither. That means it's this. Neither do okay. I. Yeah, neither, either. Oh, esa palabra tiene dos, dos pronunciaciones. Either? So this is neither or neither. It's, it's pronounced both ways. Or either and either. So you can say, neither do yeah. I. Repeat. Neither, neither do I. Neither do I. Yeah. Neither do I. Or do I. I don't either. I don't I either. either. It's like saying in Spanish, a mí tampoco. O tampoco yo. Okay, tampoco yo. This is like neither do I. It's like saying tampoco yo. And I don't either. It's like saying yo tampoco. Okay. Okay. Now, um, sorry. Sorry. Oh, okay, okay, uh, got well, it. Well. Okay, no problem. Um, now, the other one could be if um, you have like, for example, I'm crazy about dessert. Notice that here, we're using the verb be. I am crazy about dessert. If you are going to use um, a, the verb to be, so you're going to say, so am I. So, no ten, va, 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 va de acuerdo. Si el, aquí like is in the simple present, I use do. Pero here I use the verb to be. So I say, so am I. Or you say, I am too. So we're going to be using the verb to be because I, it's the same. Oh. ¿Van viendo cómo usarlo? May I say me too or not? Yeah, you could say me too. Uh, that's okay too. But this is more fancy. It's más como sofisticado. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. The, and if it's if you're using the verb to be in negative, for example, I'm not in the mood for Indian food. I'm not in the mood. Then uh, you're going. Your answer is going to say neither am I or neither am I or I am not either, or I am not either. Okay? So it has to be the same. Noten aquí, am, am. O sea, tiene que ir de la mano. Si usamos eh, el auxiliar, o oh, si usamos el verbo am, tenemos que contestar con am. Okay? All right. Now, the same thing happens here with, I can eat really spicy food. Okay? Um, so here I'm using the auxiliary can. So when I answer it and, and, and I agree, I say, so can I? It's the same. Meaning can, can. Or I can too. We use okay? the same verb. You use the same, yeah, the, the same auxiliary. Okay. Okay. Aquí, aquí no, como, como es el simple present, el auxiliar del simple present, ¿cuál es? ¿El auxiliar del simple present? Do. Do. Por eso que do. usamos aquí, so do I. Okay. All right. So, and over here we have, I can't stand fast food. So we're using auxiliary can't. And that's why the answer is going to be neither can I, or I can't either. Okay, neither can I, or neither can I, or I can't either. And so that is when you are, um, that is when you agree, cuando está de acuerdo. But if you don't agree, you can say, for example, really. I don't like it very much. Or, oh, I like it a lot. Or, 
Oh, I'm not. Really? I am. Or really, I can't. Or, oh, I love it. Okay, so you will notice that if you disagree, you're using the same. So do, and here we have don't, right? And here we're using the simple present as well, like here, I'm not, oh, I'm not. So we're using the verb to be. Really, I am the verb to be. Um, here he says, really, I can't. I can't. So we're still using the verb, uh, the, the auxiliary can. And here you don't need to say, but you can say, oh, I love it. I can't stand, oh, I love it. Okay. okay. Does that make sense for you? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We will practice more about this. Um. Bueno, ya les iba a decir tomorrow. Pero bueno, sí, bueno. Quiero ver. Sí, sí, sí. Todavía tenemos clase esta semana. So yes, tomorrow we're going to practice um more about this tomorrow. No. Oh no, sorry, sorry. Ay no. Perdón. Sí, es que no, estoy. Sí, estaba bien la primera vez. <laughs> we will practice more of this on Monday, okay? Yeah. All right, but I wanted you to get the idea at least. Okay, so I, I'll take a I'll, I'll take a screenshot and I'll send it to you so that you guys can have a better idea. Okay. All right, guys. So we're going to finish our class there today, and I will take attendance to finish up our class. Okay, just a moment. Okay. All right, so we'll start. Ada Veronica. Present, Miss. Alexandra Jamilet Garcia. Eh, Alex, sorry, uh, Alicia Perez Gavidia. Present, teacher. Wonderful. Uh, Ana Marisela Flores. Present, Miss. Excellent. Brenda Claribel Mejia. It's me. This is Silvio Antonio Cortez. Present, Miss. Eh, Eugenio Ernesto Martinez. Present, Miss. Jacqueline Vanessa Quijada. Present, Miss. Jennifer Nauset Arevalo. Mm -hmm. Present, Miss. Juan Antonio Brand. Present, teacher. Uh, Catherine Andreina Perez. Catherine Andreina. Catherine Giselle Bonilla. Excellent. Catherine Maria Los Melendez. Present, Miss. Excellent. Lenin Hernandez Flores. Present, Miss. Excellent. Eh, Luis Alfredo Aguilar. Present, Miss. Present. Very good. Thank you. Miguel Antonio Rodriguez. Present, Miss. Excellent. Nelson eh, Eduardo Alfaro. Okay, uh, no Ezequiel Rivera. Present, Miss. Excellent. Norma Lisset Crispin. Present, teacher. Okay, excellent. Uh, Olivia Raquel Rodriguez. Olivia Raquel. Present. Okay, thank you. Oscar Alexander Dominguez. Oscar Alexander Dominguez. Reina Isabel Martinez. Zaira Idalia Oviedo. Silvia Esther Rivera. Present. Ok, very good. Ok, chicos, eh, ¿alguna preguntita que tengan antes que nos despidamos? No. No? Ok. All right, guys, eh, I just sent to you in the 
uh, WhatsApp group. I just sent the last picture and that will be all. So I will see you guys on Monday. Have a wonderful weekend. Si pueden ustedes ir avanzando en la plataforma, mucho que mejor. Okay? All right. So see you guys. Take care. Thank you. Happy weekend. Bye. Thanks. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.